first of all, let's download iSquint. Start up your web browser. Now go to the web address www.macupdate.com forward slash app forward slash mac forward slash one nine seven six nine and hit enter from this page click on download now to see all your downloads in Chrome go up to window then click downloads click on I squint from this list single left click If, however, you're using Firefox to see your downloads, go up to Tools, then Downloads, then double-click iSquint. If you are using Safari, click on the download icon in the top right-hand corner, then double-click iSquint. Now that we've downloaded iSquint, we'll finish installing it. Push that window to the side. Up at the top menu bar, click Go, then click Applications, move that to the side, click and drag iSquint into the Applications folder, scroll down and find iSquint in there, click and drag it to the dock, now we'll close off these windows. Quit Safari, click on the disk image icon, uh, click File, then Eject iSquint. Start up iSquint from the dock, click Open. We are ready to compress the video. First of all, click Optimize for TV. Tune the quality setting down to low. And we'll need to drop videos into iSquint to compress. If we want to compress multiple videos, we can just continue stacking them in the list. If we've added one and want to remove it, we select it from the list and click the minus symbol. Now we need to specify where we want the compressed video to go. I'm going to pick the desktop and then click choose and click start. Now we wait for the compression to complete. I've compressed this video twice, once using the low quality setting and once using the tiny quality setting. Let's see how it's affected the file sizes. Right clicking on the original video, then left clicking get info. I can see the original video was 54.6 megabytes. The video compressed with low quality. Right clicking, left clicking, I can see it's 36.2 megabytes. The one compressed with tiny quality, I can see it's down to 12.7 megabytes. In future, if you need to do more compression, you don't need to download iSquint again. Just start up iSquint from the icon in your dock. If you have any issues or further questions, just contact Parramatta Marist IT.